Hey folks, Simon here from Velo Performance. Now this week I'm going to talk about protein and why as we get older we need to eat more and also as we get older why it's important to consider not to follow trendy diets. So without further ado, let's get into it. At the age of 51, one of the things I've been doing for the last sort of 10, 15 years really is looking at ways to make sure that I hold on to my muscle mass as much as possible. So I've read quite a few studies, I've looked up what is the most available evidence on improving our musculature or holding on to as much strength as we can do and just basically trying to look as good as I possibly can do as I get older. And one of the things that I've looked into is how much protein we need to eat and is that at all something that we need to be looking at and how can we train in ways to make sure that we stay strong, hold on to our lean muscle mass, so muscle, and also you know, make sure that we are recovering at our most optimal because as you get older, it gets tougher to recover. It gets tougher to train like you did when you were in your 20s. Anybody that's hit 50 and is still doing what they're doing on the bike when they were doing it at the age of 20 will tell you that it's not as easy or it doesn't feel as easy as it used to. But here's the thing, that could just be down to the fact that you're not eating enough protein, you're not focusing on recovery, you're probably doing a little bit too much intensity and your training over the week is probably just a little bit too much and you're not focusing on your recovery. But anyway, that is something for another video. But let's talk about protein and why I think we need to look at it in a way that's going to support our aging physiology and also probably why it's not a good idea to follow any kind of trendy diets right now. Let's talk about how much protein we should eat regardless of age. What is the standard sort of understanding? Well, for the most part, most people will turn around and say between 1.6 and 1.8 grams of protein per kg of body weight spread between four and six meals a day. And that's kind of important to think about because there's a lot of trendy diets at the moment that will say don't eat until this time. And if you're trying to get the best from your training and the best from your recovery, then missing out meals is not helping you get there. Now, yes, okay, when you look at this body of evidence, it's gonna tell you that your total protein over the day really matters. But in actual fact, if you want to get maximal muscle protein synthesis, you want to get the best out of your training and help your muscles recover, at the most optimal level, you kind of need to make sure that you're eating at regular intervals across the day. So what am I gonna recommend? I recommend from the ages of 40 onwards, you need to be eating between 1.8 and two grams per kg of body weight spread across four to six meals a day. Just makes sense. If you're doing the training and you're working really hard and you want to get the best recovery, then eating a higher protein diet is important for that. But there's another aspect of it as well. When you look at total calories, when I talk about weight loss with people, total calories is what's gonna help you drop weight. And actually, if you want to change your body composition, when you look at diets in particular, higher protein diets are gonna help you stay and look leaner. So it makes sense as we get older, if we want to hold on to lean muscle mass and be as strong as we possibly can, recover as much as we can, and look pretty lean in our ride kit, then a higher protein diet really works. And then that's leucine. I haven't talked about leucine yet. So I've been talking about maximal, maximal muscle protein synthesis. But in actual fact, to get maximal muscle protein synthesis, you need between three and five grams of leucine in each meal to trigger that massive response. I'm at Mallorca. So top marks, if you can guess which little town I'm cycling through at the moment. Now there's two flies in the ointment when you look at training for master cyclists and you think about total protein intake. Now, first and foremost, protein by itself without any training at all. So let's say you just have a high protein diet and you don't do any training at all. It's still not going to help you lay down lean muscle mass. It's still not going to help you arrest so much of the muscle degradation that I'm talking about because the other important aspect is training. And that's quite an important consideration to take on board, that you need to do both of these things together. You can't do one, so you can't train really hard and have a very low protein diet and expect to recover and achieve everything that you want to. And you can't just eat a high protein diet and do no training and achieve everything you want to. They have to go together. When you understand that as you get older, your muscle function, quality, and size kind of like downgrades itself when you don't train it effectively, then it's kind of, and 
this is the reason why I'm so so keen about talking to people as they get older is to hit the gym, lift heavy when they're a cyclist, not just to ride long everywhere because that's one aspect of your fitness. But what it's not doing is improving the quality and function of your musculature. It's just improving your aerobic capacity. So this is why I'm such a big fan of doing things like VO2 work as you get older and doing things like hill reps because it's improving that muscle function and quality. Let's go back to protein because this is what this video is all about. So look, if you wanna find anything more about diet and how to fuel your training then at the end of this video i'll put another video so you can watch that and let's just cap this off one of the things i think is really important for us to focus on in our diet is yes a higher protein diet as we get older so from the ages of 40 onwards i would always say to the people that i coach and train we need to go higher on protein if you want to recover better look better the other thing i think we really need to focus on is making sure that we eat plenty of carbohydrates in our diet and i know there's some massive trends for that not to happen at the moment but remind yourselves that carbohydrates are very muscle sparing so a higher protein diet and a higher carbohydrate diet is going to help you hold on to leaner muscle more and also importantly, carbohydrates are your first immediate fuel. So if you are training harder and you're doing tougher training sessions, it's the carbohydrates from the food that you eat that are gonna help you get the best quality out of training. And who doesn't want that? Anyway, let's wrap up there. So look, I hope this video has really helped and I hope it's got you thinking about what you're doing with your diet. If you wanna ask any questions, ask in the comments box below. Delighted to have a conversation with you there. And do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe. And if you like this video a lot, share it with your friends. Cheers for watching. Hey.